what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man if you do like and subscribe we're trying to hit 200 subscribers hopefully by the end of the week over 96 percent of the people that watch are not subscribed so hit that subscribe button without further ado let's talk about the subject of today's video the next episode through the years is none of their richard hamilton aka rip hamilton through the years he started his career at the university of uconn where he was uh has countless awards i mean uh, player of the year, Big East player of the year, stuff like that. He played for the Short Pistons, the Washington Wizards, and the Chicago Bulls. Wrote the Pistons he won in his first and only NBA championship. So let's talk about his career. Rip Hamilton played for, first he got drafted by the Washington Wizards, 1999 draft, seventh overall by the Wizards, where he played for three years. We had 15.6 points per game, 2.8 rebounds, and 2.4 assists. He was teammates with Michael Jordan through the later part of his career. And on September of 2002, he was traded to the Detroit Pistons in change for Jerry Stackhouse and Brian Cardinal. During that offseason, the Pistons also acquired Chauncey Billis and Tayshaun Prince to form that nucleus of what Detroit basketball was back then in the early 2000s. So during his nine-year illustrious career with the Pistons, he averaged 18.4 points per game, 3.4 assists, and 3.2 rebounds. As you can see, Rip Hamilton in his Game 6 clinching victory over the Lakers where he dropped 21 points in that win. In the 2 we'll start with the 2 season, where he started off 82 games. He led the team with scoring with 19.7 points per game, and including, including 50 wins that year. They made it to the NBA they lost, they lost to the conference finals to the Nets, and he was averaging 22.5 points per game during that playoff run. In the 4 5 they beat the Lakers, Shaq and Kobe team, in six games. And they went back to back Eastern Conference Championships, lost to the Spurs in Game 7 in the 05 Finals. On January 6, 2005, became the only player to lead a team in scoring in the same game despite not making no field goals. He was 06 All Star selection. He won a franchise record 64 games in 2006. Eventually, the, the all good things must come to an end. So, Ben Wallace was the first pillar to fall as he was signed with the Bulls and start the Pistons' downfall. On December 27, 2006, 2007, he scored a career-best 51 points, becoming the first opponent since Michael Jordan to score 50 in Madison Square Garden. He was an OA All-Star, and he was also a footlocker three-point shootout contestant. In 09 All-Season, Billings was traded for AI to the Denver Nuggets, and Rip stayed and re-signed for a three-year, $34 million extension. On December 2011, his contract was bought up by the Pistons, where he went to his final team of his career, the Chicago Bulls, where he played for two years. He averaged 10.5 points per game, 1.9 rebounds, and 2.6 assists. He signed a three-year deal with 415 million with an option in the third year. In 11-12 season, he averaged 11.6 points per game, three rebounds, and 2.4 assists. On November 26, 2012, he signed. He had scored a. He scored a, career, a season high of 30 points and made a playoffs as a fifth seed despite losing LeBron James, D Wade, and Chris Bosch and the Miami Heat as a fifth seed in the second round. They declined his option on January, July 10th, 2013. He officially retired as an NBA player on February 26, 2015. His jersey was officially retired by the Pistons on February 26th of, this, of 2017. For Rip Hamilton's career, he scored 15,705 points, 17 points per game, 2,852 rebounds or 3.2 rebounds per game, and 3,125 assists or 3.4 assists per game. So that was Rip Hamilton's career in a nutshell, man. What do y'all think about Rip Hamilton through the years? I know during his time with the Pistons, he played his best basketball, but where would you rank him with the shooting guards of that time era with Kobe? D-Wade, T-Mac, those guys was in the game. Where would you rate Rip Hamilton? Rip Hamilton probably had the best mid-range, I, I would say outside of Kobe Bryant, in out of all the guards in the game. That man, that man is so good. Catch catch the ball off the off the sweep, off the catch, create his own shot. He was a great mid-range marksman. So that was Rip Hamilton through the years, man. Was he overrated or underrated, man? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank y'all for tuning in and watching the video, man. We're going to have plenty more of these and many more coming up. So y'all tune in. Hit that hit that notification bell for more videos. And, man, thank y'all, man. We on the road for 200. Hit that subscribe button. Thank y'all. God bless, man. And stay tuned for more videos.